Hey guys, what's up? This is Xantiquire here to bring you another tutorial. This tutorial is only available on the website, for those of you watching that you know that, but um, there's going to be a small short preview of this tutorial on YouTube, so people who want to watch it can um, go and register on the website and watch it privately. Um, this tutorial is about expression gates, if I don't really say it. I'm going to show you how to use the expression gate, what you can do with the expression gate, and um, all about the expression gate. Oh, let's see here. Well, as we go to our expression gate here, you see it underneath wire gates, wire control, expression. Mo most people see, see this and then they're like, oh, I can't do that. What's that all about? I can't do this. Eh, look at all these lines. Yeah, you, it's really not hard. It's very simple, actually. Um, the very first thing you're going to do is type in the name of what you're doing. For this one, I'm just going to call it Gmod. Thanks, Bell. Tutorial. Because uh, I'll delete this later. Label tutorial. Oopsies. Label tutorial. Okay. Let's start with inputs. Inputs are things that you, you guessed it, you input into the gate. And then it will take those inputs and then it will like, use the inputs. And outputs are things that the gate is going to output to other objects. It's very, very simple actually. So uh, let me show you an example. Oh crap. I should have been more prepared than this. I just kind of started and expected, oh, I'll just blow right through this in three tutorials. Okay. So, here's just a simple one by one. Oh, um, by, by the way, uh, this tutorial is going to be like in six or three parts. So, sit down and enjoy the day. Um, so right there, it's just a very simple timer. What am I going to do? I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Alright, so if we want to, um, input something... Let's say like our input is going to be a timer, and we're going to—I don't even know what we're going to output yet. Uh, let's see. Let's output. Oh, give me explosive. Just use cold cold can and put that right there. All right. I hope this works. And our output is going to be detonate. But um, you don't have to actually put detonate because with our output you can just shorten it. Det. N8. I guess I'm going to type the whole thing out. I spelled that wrong. Det. N8. Okay, whatever. It's going to just be det. That's going to be detonate. Okay. We're also going to need um, reset. I almost forgot about that one. Okay. So, what the whole thing is, is this, if if the timer is equal to 5, then detonate will equal 1, because the trigger value of this explosive is 1, I believe. So we're going to have the can, the, we're going to output 1 to the can, which is a tr 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 trigger value, therefore blowing up the can. That's a very, very simple but not complex kind kind of complex I mean it's just it's really nothing so um, I'm gonna start with an if statement if timer equals so we're gonna check if it's equal to so you put two equals if timer is equal to five oh crap I forgot about that stupid thing five alright then it's going like if you wanna say like if this is equal to 5, then you put a dash in this arrow key. Then, debt 1 equal, because we're going to set the um, debt to 1. And then you're going to end with a semicolon. We're going to save it. Going to validate it. Validate it successfully. We're going to put this right here. Probably going to need a round gate, just because I don't want to have to deal with the skipping over it. Alright, we're going to need a button too. I don't know why I put reset in there. Alright. Wire. 
Alright, so we're going to wire up the timer to our round gate. I'm going to wire up the A to the timer, of course. I'm going to put run to here. And I should get another button for the reset. Then use button fire. <laughs> reset. Okay, that's five minutes. Alright. So, I believe I have all this. I have to wire up the detonate detonate to the expression gate. Okay. Everything is wired up and um one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that it exploded when it hit five seconds. Alright. So um let's see here. That that's a pretty simple um I don't even know you want to call it pretty simple little short thing of using a statement. Encryption gates are just basically like um, a whole bunch of gates put into one gate. It's really not that hard at all. It's very, very, very super simple. Okay, what's my next example going to be? Alright, let me just show you some um, very simple mathematical things you can do in here. If you want to add, I'm just going to use D. Oopsie, not typing. If you're going to add something, you're going to do D, and you're going to put a plus sign, D. That, and you're going to say like equals 10 or whatever. I got to stop hitting 5. Alright, so that's going to equal, alright, that's how you add. I just stop there before I screw this up. If you want to subtract, I'm just going to say like F minus D. That's how you subtract 2 variables. If you want to multiply, you're going to do like that. That's how you multiply that little sign right there. It's a star. That's how you multiply. Um, if you want to divide, divided by F divided by G. That's how you divide. It's forward slash. If you want to find the percents, um, I think that's what you, I think that's how you say it. The percent of something. That's how you do percent. Very, very self-explanatory. If you want exponent, where's the arrow key? There it is. That's how you do an exponent. I just picked um random keys, but um I'm just gonna show you plus, minus, multiply, divide. Uh, percent exponent. So there you have it. That's not a plus, is it? Plus. There you go. Right, so those are all the math mathematical uh, symbols right there. Okay. What else can I show you in the next two minutes? That'll be fairly simple because I can only make these ten minutes long or so. All right. So if you want to set something to equal something else, like if you want A to equal B, that's how you do it. Very simple. I'm trying to think of some examples. I'll do that in the next tutorial as i uh, give you guys some examples. Let's see here. What else? Okay. I think I'm going to do for the next two minutes. Alright. I have to do this really, really fast. We're going to input speed. No, we're not. This is pretty hard to explain. Okay. You know, I think I'm going to close this one down and um, start on the next one. And show you guys some more oh, little things about the expression gate. Because I'm at 9 minutes and 8 seconds. And I'm running out of time because I have these 10 minute segments. Sorry about that. But I hope this helped you. And watch the next one.